Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Lori with Pizzazz Studios. I'm wearing one of my new shirts today. Pizzazzstudios.com is my website if you're interested in checking it out. I uh, sell my artwork there as well as some jewelry. And um, I am going to do a Dutch pour today. It's been a long time since I've done a Dutch pour and I'm actually looking forward to it. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out because it's been a while. I'm also using what I consider to be kind of an awkward size canvas. It's uh, 18 inches high, 36 inches long. So what happens is I feel like um, you're limited on the space that you have to work in. Um, Cause with Dutch pour, you're kind of needing to go up and out in all directions. This one's really long. So it might be a little, a little awkward, like I said, to work with, but we'll see what happens. Thanks for joining me on my new YouTube channel. I appreciate that. If you could please subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate that. I need subscribers. Uh, I need you to like the videos. Uh, I need you to comment and make suggestions. And um, any questions you may have, please feel free to leave them in the comments section. I will answer them as best I can. Um, anyway, I'm gonna have a great time with this YouTube channel. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to sharing my art with you some techniques if I can help you in any way let me know I'd be more than happy to I'm actually putting on my rubber gloves now as we speak <clears throat> excuse me I tried to think if there was anything else I wanted to say I'm currently in a section of my studio I have a large upstairs area in our home that I use as my my studio I've been working <clears throat> from my home for many many years now so I'm very comfortable here. Um, like I said, I'm just in a small area where I paint. So I have a table here in front of me. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna move my camera around and shoot it down over the canvas so you can hopefully see um, what I got going on here. Um, I don't know if the entire canvas is gonna show up because it's so long, like I said, but I will turn the phone the other way, see if I can reach the whole canvas, if I can get it up high enough. Um, and then when I'm done, I will come down and give a close-up of the painting so you'll get a better view. Um, I think that's about it. Thank you for bearing with me. I'm sorry I, I uh, do not look my best at the moment, but hey, I think I look pretty good considering I just got out of bed and I'm ready to go. I love what I do. I love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it, love it. It is a passion. So when you love what you do, it makes a huge difference in your life. I wake up every day happy to be here and happy to play. So I want to share my joy with you. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I appreciate it. I'm going to um, turn the phone off, turn it around, get set up, and I will be right back. Okay. Hey, everyone. I'm back. I'm going to go ahead and do our Dutch pour painting. I've got this here in front of us here. I got most of it into the phone. It's like I said, it's 36 inches long, so it's fairly long. So it doesn't quite all reach in, but my hands here are at the end of the canvas. So you can see most of it for the most part. Um, so 18 by 36. I've got all my paints mixed up. I will go ahead and list all the paints that I use down in the description box. I'm using a Floetrol paint and water mixture for my recipe. I'm using one, two, three, four, five, six different colors. Seven if you include the base. My base coat that I'm going to apply is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White Paint. I'm actually just um, finished the back of my canvas. I go ahead and taped up all the edges so it's nice and pretty on the back when I'm done. I've also got some large push pins here in each corner which will act as little feet for it keeps it up off the table and now i'm about to make sure it's nice and level you want to make sure your canvas is very level so what i got here is this little level i just put it down and i check the bubbles and they're centered then we're good to go i check all the corners i check the center everything looks really good all right, so canvas is level. Yeah, so I have Artist Loft Turquoise, Artist Loft Brilliant Magenta, Artist Loft Orange, 
Artist's Loft Copper. And then I have Deco Art Extreme Machine 24 Karat Gold with metallic paint. I'm also going to use. And I also have um, a little cup here full of um, color art pigment called Beach House Blue. This is a really pretty color. These pigments are very pretty. They're very iridescent. They have a great shimmer to them. And they make your paintings look amazing. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to start with my, this is my Artist Flow white acrylic paint. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to pour it, flood my canvas with it. I have my spatula here to spread it out, even things out. So you want a nice, even canvas face on your canvas to start out. So you go ahead and you flood your canvas with all this paint. Like I said, this is a um, Floetrol paint and water mixture. 80, 40, 30 is the recipe. So sometimes you do this off camera. Um, probably don't need to see this. If you want to fast forward past this, feel free to do so. But for those that would like to see it, I figured I would do it on camera and show you how I do it. Basically, you're spreading it out so it's nice and even. You want to cover the entire canvas with your paint. This is a fairly quick process doing this, um, especially the spatula is extremely helpful. Some people use their hands to do this. Some people will tilt the canvas around to do this. Some people use the hair dryer to do this. All right, so it's pretty simple. You also want to make sure you get your sides all covered. So usually what I'll do is take this and make sure I get the other side here. You want to just make sure you get all the areas covered. You don't want any dry spots. This is a larger canvas. I have not done a large canvas this big in quite a while, so this is going to be fun. I think this is going to come out really pretty. I don't have any kind of design or any um, composition in my mind. I'm just going with the flow. It's what I do best. All right, so this looks pretty good. Like I said, we're going to use our torch. We're going to light, light this up here. This will pop the air bubbles that are throughout the white paint. The big canvas, so it's going to take me a minute to do this. You don't want to get too close to it. You don't want to burn your paint. You don't want to burn your canvas, obviously. You kind of just come over it, turn your torch on. Once lower it, when you see the air bubbles start to pop, you know you're close enough. I did shake this paint up a bit before I started because it had been sitting a little while. I wanted to give it a good shake, so that created a lot of bubbles. You don't want air bubbles coming up in your painting. When your paint dries, it kind of ruins your, your design. Sometimes the air bubbles will add a cool effect to it. Not always a bad thing, but you don't want too many of them. Okay. Do not see any ma major um, major bubbles or anything, so I think we're good to go. Now this is such a big canvas, I hadn't really thought about this much. All I know is I wanted to use it. Trying to decide how I want to lay down the paint. I think in this case, what I'm going to do is one line all the way across. And we'll see what happens. I'm going to blow it out different directions when I pull up the hair dryer. So I'm going to start with my um, turquoise. I'm going to start at one end. I'm going to put it right in the middle. I'm going to kind of just go like this. You can do this in like puddles. You can do this in lines. You can do it diagonally. You do it any way you want. I just happen to be doing it this way. All right, here's our deco art um, pigment called Beach House Blue. I'm going to try to put this now next on the turquoise. Not everything has to overlap either. Um, you can have fun with this. You can do whatever you feel you feel like doing. These are dry colored pigments. They um, are not two paints. So they're mixed 
a little bit differently than the two paints. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this um, comes out. It looks really pretty in the cup. This here is the Brilliant Magenta by Artist Loft. This will go on next. A whole bunch of it just splurted out there at the end, but that's okay. This canvas is really long and awkward. <laughs> I'm not sure why I bought this size, to be honest with you. It just looked fun. And now when I go to use it, I'm a little bit at a loss as to exactly how to use it. But we will see what happens. I think this is going to be pretty cool. All right. So that's our orange. So that's Artist Loft Orange. And then next I'm going to use Artist Loft Copper. Copper. If you have any suggestions or comments for me on my videos or what you'd like to see or anything like that, any special colors or questions, or I will try and answer them for you. Like I said, I'm far from an expert, but I've been doing it a while. I have some knowledge. I don't mind sharing things with you. I don't mind learning together. So that's what we're here for. Next, after the copper, I'm using the Deco Art, the 24 karat gold, right on top of the copper. Kind of tried to layer these instead of more sporadic. I want to see what happens when we blow it all out. It should do some, some cool things. Let me just move my paints out of the way here. I do have to get out the hair dryer to blow some things around, so. <laughs> okay. So now we have all our paint lined down. So now we're gonna take this torch again. I'm gonna pop the bubbles in that paint. Because there are a few. You don't have to go crazy with this. You just wanna try to pop the biggest ones that you can. That looks pretty good. Um, but I think once it all dries, it'll look beautiful. This all self-levels. This is self-leveling paint. So if you see high spots or ridges, anything like that, it's all going to level out as it dries. This is actually really pretty. <laughs> you should, I wish you could see this in person. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this, um, my base white paint, and I'm going to pour it around the colors. You want to have enough on your canvas for your paint to move, like I said before. This will actually help with that. You want to do on both sides of the colors. I'm going to put a roll of white. All right. This is an old container from Coffee Creamer. It's actually pretty awesome to store your, your paints in. It has a nice clippy lid and everything. Keeps it airtight. It's perfect when you have big batches to mix up. It's very convenient to use. Just a little tip for you in case you're interested. Okay. This looks good. I'm going to get out the hair dryer. It's going to be a little noisy. Bear with me. My apologies. Mute your phone. Turn down the volume if you don't want to hear it. I don't know how long it's going to be on the phone. So, all right. Um, not sure where I'm going to start. I think I'm going to start in the middle and work my way to the ends. Here we go. I want to mention one thing my apologies i want to mention that i'm going to blow the paint white paint on this side up and over the colors first okay so you're gonna see me do that first wasn't flowing as well as I had hoped, but it still looks really cool. You can see I got cells starting down this end already. I'm gonna take my torch. We're just gonna go over this lightly. It's actually helping to pop a few more air bubbles and a few that were created. Um, well, we're gonna take the rest of the paint as well with it and blow out in different directions. I'm gonna go ahead and create our design, our composition, and see what we get. Here goes the hair dryer again. Yeah, 
My hair dryer just came unplugged. <laughs> oh, the beauty of live video. Okay. hair dryer out of the way. This is pretty. The colors are really pretty. Right here it did not move as much as I wanted to. I don't know why. I see a lot of paint right there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow on that area to get it to move a little bit more. I feel like I want to... Yeah, see there's a lot of paint on here. There's a lot of paint right here. I'm not sure what happened. This area right here. Huh. Let me get my rag. Dry my hands a little bit. So just put them in the paint. Okay, so up here is a little harder looking than I'd like. Uh, this is nice and soft. I love this side. It's really pretty. So let me do a little bit of working my magic. Nice. cool. That looks really good. Much better. I got some cells coming up here. I got a lot of like um I think it's the turquoise and the beach house blue pigment underneath the white paint right there. Right here. There's a lot of it right there. So I'm going to try to get something going on here. really enjoy the way just watching the paint do its thing. It's very interesting. I'm trying to think if I want to do something here. The copper and the gold are very shimmery. It looks really pretty. I think all the colors are really spread out nice and evenly. I don't see too many like patches of one color, which is nice. There's a bit of gold and copper here, but it's also mixed with the magenta. There's orange in there. You can see the, the um, beach house blue right there on the edge. Really pretty. I'm just getting out some paints that I see that I don't want floating on top of the white. little dots of blue and stuff like that. This is the time where you want to fix it and make it yours, make it your own. Just use the top of my head. This is really cool looking. I love these colors. They look so pretty. I'm going to bring the phone down in a minute. We'll give you a close up. Watch it some more. Okay, well, this is interesting. I think I'm actually gonna blow a little bit right here and see what happens with all that color under there. Oh yeah, there's a lot under there. Wow. Wow, amazing.
copper. It's such a strong color. It's very dominant. This looks really nice. Really nice. These cells are so pretty. Pretty lacing. This looks really nice. In person, the colors look probably a lot more vibrant than they do on the phone. And when it dries, it's probably going to look even better. Between all the the metallic and the copper and the gold and the beach house blue has that shimmer to it. Everything's going to be nice and shimmery. I can see a lot of it now. Like I said, you probably can't see it so well on the phone, but... All right, I'm going to grab the phone. I'm going to bring it down and give you a close-up. Okay, everybody, here we go with our close-up. I'm going to stand at the end of the canvas to give you an idea from this angle how large this canvas is. Very large, so very long. All right, so I'll give you a close up here so you can see more details. I'm not sure, like I said, if the shimmer and metallics are gonna show up, but you may see some of it. Really pretty right here. Sorry about the glare from the light. I hope it doesn't uh, take away from this too much. I think you'll be able to see pretty well though. I don't know if you can catch the way this copper and gold is catching the light. It's gonna be amazing when it dries. I'm not sure if I will resin or varnish this yet. I do want to wait and see how it dries. All right, so this is really cool. The colors are really pretty. Sorry, my phone just keeps losing focus for some reason. paints are really amazing in person. You can see the gold flecks throughout. If I zoom in a little bit here, you might be able to see them better. But even the, the green on the um, beach house blue is really pretty. That's the color art pigment. Color art Color Art is the manufacturer of the pigments. I cannot get over how long this canvas is. <laughs> well, it was a challenge, and I do love a good challenge. So, I'm about at the end here. So that's that. Hope you all have an awesome day. Thank you for joining me. Like I said, leave some comments and suggestions or questions, whatever you want. Just a hi. You want to say hi? You want to say hello? Leave it in the comment section. Love to hear from you. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video. I would appreciate that. Have an awesome day. I'll see you again soon. Thank you.